Hello, welcome to Sandy's Art Studio. Today we're going to be painting a very simple line and wash of a fly fisherman. So follow along and enjoy. So I'm going to start by doing a little bit of line. So I have a micron pen, micron pen number five. Um, and I'm just going to do some very broken lines around around the hat, around the man himself, um, the, the fishing line. I don't want joined up lines, I just want them very loose. So I'm just going to go around and suggest some of these lines. His jacket. Okay, got his arm coming out across here. Just a suggestion of the rod, um, and then we're going to have his fishing line, which has been thrown freely up in the air. Um, and that's it, that's all I'm going to do for the line. So the next thing I'm going to do is to erase my pencil lines, just very gently so as not to disturb the paper, the grain of the paper. And that's it, put my pen away. So to start with, with the painting, I'm going to use um, a dirty green colour, which I'm going to mix up with some yellow ochre. Uh, I don't know if you can see my little paint dish there. A little bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of cobalt blue. That's going to make a kind of dirty green colour. Um, and I'm going to use that to just to suggest some of the water here. It's a very quick little sketch I'm going to do today. Wet on dry. And I'm going to take some cobalt blue. I'm going to drop a little bit of that into the green. Um, and I'm going to suggest the, the shadow from our chap that's fishing here. I'm going to wet that a little bit. A 
bit more blue. A little bit more green. And that will do for that. Okay, I'm going to carry on um, into his trousers, which are going to be ultramarine blue. These sort of sketches are really quick and easy to do if you're out and about. We've got a lovely river near us, so I usually take my sketchbook and go out and do these sort of things. Very quick, very loose. Don't get het up about it. I've, I've missed out lots on the actual reference photograph, as you'll see. I'm, I'm really adapting it to do my own thing with this. Doesn't matter if you come over the lines a little bit, that's okay too. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of... Darker blue in here. Just suggest the creases in the jeans. Let's use a little bit of indigo. My favourite colour is indigo. I use a lot of indigo. It's my go-to dark, really. Mix it with a little bit of um, alizarin crimson and you can get some lovely darks. Okay, leave his jeans at that. Um, let's go up to his jacket. So his jacket, I'm going to keep more or less the same colours as he's got in his actual jacket in the photograph, which is kind of a greeny, greeny grey colour. So I'm going to do it a greeny yellow colour, I think. Um, let's have some cadmium yellow. His is more of a moss cut colour, but I'm going to G it up a little bit. So, very quick and loose again. I'm going to have the sun coming from this direction, from the top left. So, It's going to be lighter on that side. Um, I'm going to add my blue, cobalt blue I've got here, to that yellow and just let the colours fuse on the paper. The water's going to do the work for me here. green sort of colour. So I've mixed up um, yellow ochre with a little bit of cobalt blue. Working wet on dry again. Now when I come down to where his trousers meet the water, I'm actually going to put a few dots and dashes in here so it looks like the water is splashing up against his boots a little bit. A 
again with this side. Just doing little dots and dashes. Just gives it a bit of liveliness. And again, you can leave a few little flecks of white here and there. Um, we want some shadow on his boots on the right side, which is in shadow. So a little bit of ultramarine, uh, sorry, indigo blue mixed to my boot colour. I'm just going to put some of that in on this side. to suggest some shadow. Model the creases in the boots as well. And I'm going to soften that out with a damp brush just pull some of that colour out and then you'll get a feeling that his legs are round um, I'm also going to put a little bit of that indigo into the creases in his jeans again going to soften those a little bit here okay let's move up to his shirt um, his shirt in the picture is pink uh, but I'm going to do it in blue because I can. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit of cerulean blue for his shirt. Wet and dry again. Let's do shirt collar. We can use a few flecks of white in there. Just to add a bit of sparkle. It really is a very quick painting, so don't get too het up on detail with this. It shouldn't take you very long to do this at all. Um, so right now I'm going to add a little sparkle to the paper by doing a bit of spatter. Um, what you can do if you want to, if you don't want to get spatter all over the place, just mask off the figure about there. So we're going to have spatter here, we're going to have spatter around here, and a little bit of spatter where, where the line is flicking up the water. So again, I'm just going to use the colours that I've got in my palette. And I'm going to tap some of that onto my paper. A little bit up here just for fun. Just gives a little bit of liveliness to the scene when you do this. A little bit of that. Don't go too mad, it's very easy to get carried away with this, so there we go, that's enough, that's fine. Um, I might put a few drops in coming off of his line here. Yep, I'll do. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Don't faff. <laughs> Note to oneself. Um, let's take a little bit of uh, what we got here. We've got burnt sienna, 
and I'm going to use the Burnt Sienna Fees Flesh Tone. We can mix that up with a little bit of yellow on the palette there, that's okay. Um, his shirt's still wet, so I'm not going to do his face yet. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap between his shirt and his arm. Very squeaky stool, I'm sorry about that if it's squeaking. to lift off a little bit of colour on the top of his arms just with a thirsty brush so, so I've wet my brush with clean water and I'm just going to lift off a little bit of highlight colour on the top of his arm um, the top of his hand here and his hand underneath. And I'm going to darken his face. So I'm going to use a little bit of blue mixed in with my burnt sienna, because his face is actually going to be in shadow. So I'll have that quite dark. So put some more dark on there if you want to do that too. Uh, under here. Smooth it out, damp brush. Yep. Um, okay, let's have a look. Let's do his, the real for the fishing rod. I'm just going to use the, the colour that I used for his uh, Wellington boots for this. So I'm just using what's in my palette, that's all. This little suggestion of the line of the rod rather. And then we've got to paint his hat. Uh, the paint I'm going to use, the colour for this is going to be rose, or you can make it bright red if you want to. It's your painting, you choose what colour you want his hat to be. Perhaps I'll do a bright red one this time. We have choices. Okay, so I've got some bright red mixed with rose. I'm going, going to hedge my bets here. So I want a splash of red in this painting to cheer it up a bit. Because it's very dull colours at the moment. I'm going to leave a highlight at this part of the hat. So I'm just going to soften this off. And on this side, I want some shadow, so I'm just going to take my, what is now dirty blue. I'm just going to put some shadow in here. I'm going to put some shadow on his collar. And some shadow under his arm. So that's more or less it. I'm just going to put in a few more details with the pen. Give him a little bit of a hat band around here. I 
maybe a bit more detail here on the shaded side of his hat. Suggest his pocket. Yeah, don't go too mad. I think that'll do nicely. Thank you for watching.